Splotch on your hand. Oh, I got stamped at the reggae lounge last night. Yeah, I'm going back there tonight. You know, I'm not going to pay another cover charge. <laughs> well, you didn't wash all day? Yeah, I washed, just not the hand. <laughs> you wouldn't believe the women at this club. Ooh, man. It's amazing how many beautiful women live in New York. I actually find it kind of intimidating. Well, you're as pretty as any of them. Just need a nose job. <laughs> Today, we're diving into the behind-the-scenes moment from the iconic sitcom Seinfeld. Buckle up, because we're talking about a time when the show almost lost a character who became a comic legend. The neurotic, self-serving George Costanza, played by the brilliant Jason Alexander. It's not you, it's me. You're giving me the it's not you, it's me routine? I invented it's not you, it's me. Nobody tells me it's them, not me. If it's anybody, it's me. All right. George, it's you. You're damn right it's me. Look, I was just trying to, you know... I know what you were trying to do. Nobody does it better than me. According to Michael Richards, who brought on forgettable Kramer to life, there might have been a moment of tension during season three back in 1991. In his memoir, Entrances and Exits, Published in 2015, Richards describes Alexander's frustration with the lack of screen time for George in a particular episode called The Pen. This episode focused heavily on Jerry and Elaine's storyline, leaving George and Kramer with minimal involvement. But before we get into the video, I would like to ask you to like, subscribe and smash the notification bell for more content like this. Apparently, Alexander felt that George alongside Jerry was a core character and deserved a more prominent role. Actors dedicate themselves to the characters, and sometimes a lighter episode here and there might not be a big deal. But Alexander wasn't afraid to voice his concerns. This incident highlights the delicate balance of screen time in ensemble shows. Each character needs to feel valued, and Alexander was a sigh about advocating for Joe's comedy contribution to the show. Thankfully, the situation was resolved. The specifics remain unclear, but we can assume there were discussions with producers or Larry David himself. Luckily, Alexander stayed and Joe's Costanza continued to grace our screens with his hilarious antics. Kramer! That's Newman. I'm on the road! Well, what are you waiting for? <laughs> Elaine, come on, take a walk with me down to the laundry, man. I gotta pay this guy the money. I like horses. Maybe I could be a stable boy. You wanna shoot some pool tonight? When you first took the role on a uh, Seinfeld, you didn't know you were playing Larry David. No. You, so you kind of played it like uh, Woody. Woody Allen. Yeah. And you did that for a while, and then you realized, hey, I'm playing Larry David, yeah. aren't I? Here are some Seinfeld fun facts. Did you know that Alexander actually auditioned for the role of Jerry? Talk about a Seinfeld multiverse. Imagine a world where Elaine dates Costanza. Oh, she comes over and she tells me that her ex-boyfriend was over late last night and yada, 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 I'm really tired today. <laughs> what do you think she was tired from? Well, obviously the yada, yada. <laughs> you don't think she'd yada, yada sex? I've yada, yada sex. <laughs> really? The source signature, yada, 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 originated from Alexander accidentally fumbling his lines during a rehearsal. A happy accident that became a comedic staple. Charger, like anytime you want to charge up your phone, you just plug it in. Because it's hard to just sleep when you're tired, because people are tired most of the time. I love you so much. Oh, thanks. Can I give you a hug? No, thanks. Please? No, thanks. A little one. Yeah, no, thanks. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and despite the show's no hugging, no learning motto, there actually are a few instances of hugs throughout the series. Can you spot them all? Now, can you imagine Seinfeld without George? His insecurities, his schemes, his constant need for validation, these are all comedic gold. Thankfully, Alexander stood his ground and George Costanza remained a crucial part of the show's success. So, the next time you watch Seinfeld, appreciate the dynamic between the four main characters. Thanks for joining us today, make sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell. And let us know in the comments below about what your favorite George Costanza moment is.